Hello everybody, welcome back. I want to make it just a real quick video here because I wanted to show you what happened to me uh, yesterday while I was out making a video in an outdoor museum. I want to show you how unafraid coyotes are of humans. And don't worry, uh, Bella was safely inside the RV while I was uh, recording. One thing though I have to ask, if you recognize this place, please don't give it away down in the comments. I still have to edit that video. Actually, I have two videos to edit. It'll be, the full video will be out hopefully Friday, Saturday at the latest. But there'll be one before it. Anyway, if you recognize the place, please don't give it away. So I'm at this outdoor museum recording and all of a sudden around the corner or around the one piece of equipment, here comes a coyote and he goes and he picks up an old bone. And, you know, he gave me a quick glance and then did it and then walks away and he only picks up the pace a little bit whenever I, I made a noise. I kind of called for him. I, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> uh, let me back that up a minute. Let's back it up the whole way and think about this now. Here's an old dried bone. Okay, it didn't have meat on it. <laughs> you know, a dog would have, you know, sniffed around and finally found that. That coyote knew that that bone was there from I don't know it came through a neighborhood and you know it wasn't a fresh bone it was old and dried and uh, white you know how they get when they're all sun bleached he came from come from how far away to get that bone and walked off for a moment when he was walking towards me yeah I was a little bit uncomfortable so I don't know why I called to him uh, maybe I don't know I kind of thought <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking okay um, but I certainly didn't want him to come at me, uh, come towards me, uh, for any reason. So anyway, we, you know, we hear coyotes. Once in a while we see a coyote out camping. We uh, certainly hear them more active, you know, when they cry out and stuff at night and or through the night or in early mornings. Uh, you know, and I know they're active in the, during the day too. I do see them from time to time. That's the first time one was ever that brave uh, to come up right at me like that within, you know, 15 or 20 feet to get that bone. That made me a little nervous, but uh, anyway, uh, that did happen. You got small pets, even in the daytime, keep an eye on them. Uh, that's partly why I never, uh, I rarely, I should say never, I'm pretty cautious. If I'm busy with a camera, Bella's usually on a leash. I don't, you know, I want to know what's around and be mindful of that if she's off leash. I don't want to be messing around talking to the camera and not paying attention. So rarely will you ever see that happen. Yeah, I'm not perfect. It might happen once in a while. Anyway, that that full video will be out later in the week, you know, by the end of the week, Friday, Friday or Saturday. Uh, we'll check that place out. Again, don't give it away, please, in the comments, if you know where I recorded that at. Ruin the surprise in the timeline of the videos. So, so anyway, I just wanted to share that real quick with you. Be cautious out there if you're in coyote country. As always, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.